is to make certain that you have adequate probiotics in your gut. Now, what are probiotics? Does anybody know? Probiotics are beneficial bacteria. And the easiest way to understand how probiotics work is to think about how yogurt is made. Have you ever thought about how yogurt's made? Basically, you take milk and you add lactobacillus acidophilus and you incubate the milk at 90 something degrees for a few days and then you have yogurt. If you took that same milk and you put it out at 90 something degrees without the benefit of the good bacteria, what would you have? Sour milk. And I'm gonna back up and tell you a little story how I became introduced to probiotics initially and that was about six years ago. I was returning from an international IBS or irritable bowel syndrome meeting in California and happened to sit next to someone who worked for a company uh, called New Chapter. And it turned out he was the local salesman and they really are into this whole probiotic uh, movement. I told him I was interested in IBS and he said, do you use probiotics for your IBS patients? And I said, well, every now and then. He ended up sending me some of their product. I go in to see the first patient I had tried on their probiotics, walked in the room. She was a 55-year-old retired school teacher who had had symptoms since age 18 of gas and bloating and intermittent diarrhea. She basically was making sour milk. And I walked in, and this is the first time I've ever tried their product six years ago. I walked in and I said, how are you doing? She said, I've got my life back. And I thought, well, that was pretty profound. So not only was she doing better from the standpoint of her digestive tract, but a lot of other symptoms that she was having at the time had seemed to clear up. I go in to see the next patient, and it was just a coincidence, and I had given her a bottle of the probiotics. And I walked in and I said, how are you doing? She goes, I've got my life back. And the hair stood up on the back of my neck because I just heard the same phrase within 15 minutes to describe how these two different patients uh, were doing. So, I'm on the internet reading all about probiotics. I have a whole lecture I could give uh, on probiotics. But probiotics are beneficial bacteria. If you don't have them in your gut, a couple things happen. You're not fermenting your food appropriately. You're not able to extract the nutrients from your food. And a second thing, and probably more importantly, what happens is the immune system is activated because to the extent you don't have the friendly bacteria, you have the unfriendly bacteria or the pathogenic microorganisms or yeast and you see that the lining of the intestine becomes damaged because your immune system is activated. Your immune system recognizes these bacteria as not being the, the friendly type. When the immune system is activated, the lining of the intestine becomes damaged and then if you think about the intestinal tract as a filter, so the good stuff, the nutrients should be absorbed into the bloodstream but now, with holes in the filter, you've got the bad bacteria and you've got larger particles uh, being absorbed into the bloodstream. And what that does is it further activates your immune system and you end up with things like chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, and so on and so forth. So when the first patient told me she had her life back, it wasn't, wasn't just from the standpoint of her gut. Her fibromyalgia symptoms, her chronic fatigue, she had more energy, she was uh, firming her food appropriately and extracting the nutrients. I recently did a literature search on probiotics and there were over a hundred articles just within the last two years and it's everything from irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, helicobacter pylori which causes ulcers, ulcer disease. If you take probiotics for that particular condition in addition to the antibiotics to eradicate the helicobacter pylori, there's a 35% increase in eradication. Uh, there are studies on atopic dermatitis in children. I've had several patients with rosacea that have responded uh, to simply a course of probiotics. And the reason I put this as number one is if you don't have the right blend of good bacteria in your gut, you're never going to achieve optimal health.